Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sacramento Beer Show. Um, today I'm going to try a beer uh, with uh, Curious George. Actually, it's some generic monkey. Um, this is called Curious Haze, a Northeast style India Pale Ale from Device Brewing Company of Sacramento. Um, their slogan is Beer with Purpose. Um, inside the can it says this is Hayes, he is curious. So the, be the monkey's name is Hayes. Um, what else? T -t 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 drink fresh, alcohol by volume is 7%, IBU is 40. Uh, India Pale Ale brewed in can by Device Brewing Company. All right, so uh, this one was canned on 8 30, uh, 2017. So it's about three weeks old at the time of this review. Um, haven't had a hazy beer from Device Brewing uh, Company, so um, this will be interesting to try. So far, I've, I've had. Uh, well, mostly West Coast style. They did a collaboration with Alpine Brewing Company. That was a West Coast style. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and pour this. It's pouring a uh, light hazy, not super hazy. Um, almost gives it this uh, glowing character. Um, yeah, hazy enough that you can't see through it, but it's not um, murky by any means. Um, pouring with a um, barely a half a finger of bright white head, um, quickly dissipating. Um, uh, yeah, head is fading fast. It's interesting. Um, anyway, uh, pretty beer. Um, like I said, kind of looks like it's glowing, right? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a smell. Smells like a New England or Northeast style IPA. A uh, bunch of bright fruit. Some tropical flavors. Maybe a little stone fruit like peach, nectarine, action. A little sweet malt character in there as well. Bring back the head a little. Tiny, tiny bit of uh, hop, hop like dank qualities to it. Let me go ahead and uh, taste this. Mm. Okay. So, very bright. Um, almost tart in a way. Um, but. Definitely going for the juice on this one. Yeah, very bright, like a bright orange juice, pineapple juice, um, with a little bit of that like sort of bitterness that comes with like a orange juice, like pith. Like orange rind, orange pith. Um, fairly one dimensional. You get that sort of bitter juice thing, and then it's gone, cleansed from the palate. Just a little bit of like bready, crackery malt in the finish. Hardly any though. Just a tiny bit, and then it does have a decent amount of bittering. What was it? Like 40, 40 IBU. So yeah, it's it's a decently bitter any style. It's not like a, one of these zero IBU beers. Um, drinks very light and crisp for a 7%. Something that I always like to see. Um... And tons of this, uh, this lacing on the glass, which I guess it is 7%, but it's interesting how the uh, 
The head, as you can see, razor thin, dissipates almost immediately, but it has all this like delicate lacing left clinging to the sides of the glass. Um, I'm going to give this one a... Let's go 93 plus points. I, I like how fresh and crisp it is. And in the same vein, refreshing. Um, but at the same time, it's it's a little thin for me. It's it's a little uh, lacking. Um, a fairly faint nose. I mean, the nose on this isn't bad, but flavor. I get I get a burst of like bright bitter citrus up front, and then just. Whoosh, gone so if if the uh the finish was a bit bigger on this i'd be really crazy about this beer um but but since it's not it's like 93 plus points um i'd be curious to try future cannings of this uh presuming they are always tinkering and and, and trying to improve as they go along and like i said this one was about three weeks old maybe there would have been more like hop flavor if I had had it, you know, when it was first canned. I don't know. That's not terribly old. Three weeks isn't that old. It's the 21st of uh, September right now. Yeah, that's not, not very old. I don't think it would lose that much in that amount of time. Hmm. I do like it though, and I think I like it better than some of their other beers I've had in the past. I don't know, maybe it's the yeast they use. I don't know, something, I feel like this beer like wants to be bigger, better, like it, it's like almost there. Um, I don't know, I'd be curious to try uh, kind of future endeavors from them in this sort of style. Um, like I said, I've never had something of this style from them. I don't know how long they've been making the Curious Haze, but, um, I feel like it's, it's just falling a little short for me. So 93 plus points, not to, uh, draw out this review any longer. Um, please like, sh share, subscribe this review with your friends. Um, turn on notifications on YouTube. You'll get notified when all the new reviews go up. Um, let me know in the comments, what would you like me to review next? Um, is there something you've seen, been curious about? Um, just let me know, and I'll see if I can get my hands on it. So, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, cheers.